This is another exercise to determine what gets printed out in the presence of exceptions. I'll pause for a few seconds to give you a chance to pause the video and work on it on your own, and then we'll talk about it together. All right, as is usual with exceptions, what I like to do is to draw out the call stack just to keep track of what functions are called when. So when this code starts, it's going to call main, so we'll get an activation record for main on our call stack. And then it's going to execute the code inside the body of main. So it's going to enter the try block and make a call to the hello function, which creates an activation record for, for hello on our call stack. And then execution proceeds to the body of the hello function. So that prints out hello called. And then execution continues and it actually enters that try block. And within that try block, we have a call to the goodbye function. So we get an activation record for goodbye on our call stack. And then execution proceeds to the body of that goodbye function, which prints out goodbye called. And then we follow that up with constructing and throwing a goodbye error object. Okay, so now that an exception has been thrown, the program will look and see, are we within a the scope of a try block in this current function and we're not and so after checking that function it's going to go to the next level of scope which is within the hello function and see are we within a try block and indeed we are okay so now it's going to check the catch blocks to see if any of them can catch the actual exception type that was thrown and that was a goodbye error and indeed we do have a catch block that can handle a goodbye error so execution will proceed immediately to the body of that catch block. And that proceeds to default construct and throw a hello error. And now once again, execution, the normal flow of execution stops and the program looks to see, are we within the scope of a try block? And in fact, we're not within hello, we're within the scope of a catch block, but that's not the same thing as being within a try block. So it's going to proceed to the next level of scope and see, are we within a try block and indeed we are we are still within the function called the hello within the try block in main okay so now it's going to check the catch blocks to see if any of them catch the type of exception that was thrown and that was a hello error and indeed we do have a catch block that cats that handles a hello error so execution proceeds to the body of that catch block and that will print out caught hello once that catch block is done execution proceeds immediately past the try and its set of catches. And we have main returns gets printed out. And our program ends.